Hi, I'm Kim Montanese. Today I have a fun little project here. It's called a journal pillow. And I call it that because I've been having so much fun with this kaleidoscope software in my computer. So let me show you some kaleidoscope stuff first, and then I'm gonna show you some of the things that we're gonna be able to do with that. So let's go over to the computer. And this is what uh, your computer's gonna look like when you first load up the program. And the first thing that comes up is the default wedge. And let me just real quick show you, there are so many other options. All of these options are potentials for kaleidoscopes for your project. So for my project, I think I ended up using the eight wedge circle because I was making a circle design. So I'm just gonna say, okay, we're gonna use that. And it automatically changes it on your screen for you. Then we're gonna need a picture for this. So I'm going to go into my images. I'm going to open an image. And I'm going to select, let me see, let's find a really good one here. I'm going to select one that I used in this project. Um, this is a tree that was on, um, if anybody's familiar with the dry tortugas down in uh, south of Key West and north of Cuba actually, during Hurricane Charlie, my sister and her husband were working there. Uh, during the hurricane. So during the eye of the hurricane, they went out and took all these pictures. So you wouldn't think that these would be so beautiful, but this is just the default how it comes up. So on this program, right up here in the upper right hand corner, you can see the preview. And if you want to get a better picture of it, you just click right there. Isn't that beautiful? And it was just a uh, gnarly old tree. Now, if you see where the cursor is right here, I can rotate that and as I rotate this, watch what happens over here in the preview window. Every time I turn this, it changes just a little bit. So it's almost impossible to make a kaleidoscope that's not beautiful. Now sometimes you want more of part of the picture so you can move the picture around just like that by putting the cursor on the actual picture or you can come out here where the little corners are and you can squish it down and rotate it and bring it back in here and still watch what's happening here. This is all done with this very same picture as the first one. What else is very cool, and this is just one picture I'm gonna show you, if what you want in your field kind of comes off the edge, see how this little corner here comes off the edge and what happens on your preview window, you end up with a little uh, blank space right in the center. So that's okay, you come over here to the eyedropper, you click on the eyedropper, bring that right over here into your picture, and you can choose any color within that picture to click on, and it's gonna fill in all the white spots. So on this one, let's see, I think I'll click on the lighter blue sky, and did you see what happened? Now, if you, if you tried that and you didn't really like it, we're gonna reset that. It's gonna take it away. We're gonna click the eyedropper again and we're going to click on the green. Maybe you like that a little bit better. We can reset it one more time. The clicker, uh, I think I'm gonna go back to the light blue because I wanna show you something else real quick. This is a texture selection and you see the drop down menu here and I just like the spirals. So. Let's make that big. Can you see the spirals in the background now? That was all added to your uh, kaleidoscope after it was already finished. So I'm gonna come up here real quick and save it. So I'm gonna save that into my pictures. I'm just gonna give it a random number there and save that into my file. Now there's a couple of things that I'd like to show you. Okay, this is a picture of my husband that's loading now. There he is, we're on the airplane. I think we are coming home from Rome. Now as I'm moving this picture, look what's happening over here. Isn't that creepy? So, um, yeah, it's pretty funny. You can do that. So why this is happening is when you put your picture with any of the body parts lying up against the edge, um, I need to turn this around. 
there. Whenever your body part is gonna lay right on this edge here, you're gonna get this kind of morphed, kind of just this weird Martian-y looking kind of guy. Um, if you have a picture that you need to fit into the wedge in a different direction, you just flip it over, slide them in there, and I'm not gonna use this because it comes out kind of creepy. And there he is again. So you can flip it around and decide how you wanna do it. And I'm not going to save that one. I'm just gonna grab another picture for you real quick. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's go over here to, um, let's go back over here to the beach. And I'm going to pick up another picture that I've already used. This is a picture of the park ranger. And he was actually jumping off a boat during the eye of the hurricane. So you can see how cool that comes out and that still has a spiral background because we haven't changed it. Now we can also come up here and do a pinwheel mode. So watch the preview window when I click on that. And now we have a really cool um, pinwheel mode. So it's up to you. You can just play and play and play with these. There we go, there's a different look. And just by clicking off the pinwheel mode, now we've switched it back and now he looks like a frog uh, jumping in the water. So have a lot of fun with these. So, you know, just to kind of experiment. And once you get going with this, it'll be a little bit addictive. So be careful, allow yourself plenty of time. So in order to do our little um, journal pillow, you're gonna need six kaleidoscopes and that's not gonna be difficult at all. So I have here, these are what you're gonna need, and this is all gonna be on the website, so don't worry about it. I have six pieces of thin batting. I have six pieces of bat, uh, backing fabric, and I have six kaleidoscopes that I've printed onto um, computer printer paper. These all came out of my computer. I use a t-shirt transfer style that I iron. I'm gonna show you how that's done. So I take my um, picture right out of the computer. It slides right out of the computer. I put it onto the fabric and I iron it on there following the manufacturer's suggestions. Every single product is gonna be a little bit different. On this particular one, I have to wait a little bit till it cools, then I can peel it off. When I peel it off, I have my completed uh, kaleidoscope. I'm gonna take that kaleidoscope and I'm going to sew a piece of batting to the back of it. And I'm gonna sew right along that edge right there, all the way around the edge. The reason I wanna do that is because I wanna be able to see from the back side. I want this stitch line so that I can stitch again. Now I'm going to take the backing fabric. I'm gonna put it right sides together so the picture is gonna go right up against that backing fabric. Then I'm going to stitch again right around here. So now what I'm going to have is a little sandwich. It doesn't look like much. I'm gonna take my really sharp fabric scissors and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut as close as I can to that edge and cut that all the way around. I'm gonna open this up, cut a hole in this, just in the backing, nothing else, and flip it right side out. Once I flip it right side out, I'm gonna have six pieces that look just like this. Don't worry about the hole, it's gonna be all covered. Then I'm gonna take my template, lay it on here, and with a water-soluble marker, make a little square on there for your markings. And then we're gonna sew this together. So I'm gonna come over here to the sewing machine. And you'll notice I'm using really big pins because this is very thick. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna stitch corner to corner right along that line that I drew with the water-soluble pen. I'm gonna make a little tack down stitch first. There it goes, and this is wrong sides together because we want the pretty side to be on the outside. Okay. We're gonna raise this up. And here we have our little box like this. Now, we're gonna take our other one, and it's just the same thing. We're just connecting our corners together all the time. We're gonna take this one, 
And again, using our lines, we're going to start stitching that together all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Then we're gonna have our little, our little cushion. We should have one open side still here. You're gonna take your fiber fill. We're gonna stuff it in there until it's just as fat as you want it. And then we're gonna close that up, take it under the sewing machine and stitch along that line. So please have fun with this little project. Think of everything you can do with it and have a good time.